Hey guys! For today's story time, we are reading a book about the spring called My Spring Robin. My Spring Robin is by Anne Rockwell with pictures by Harlow Rockwell and Lizzie Rockwell. The whole family made this book together. A robin sang a song for me every day last summer. I liked that robin. But in the fall, my robin flew away. My father said it would come back in the spring. So when spring came, I went looking for my spring robin. I saw a bee taking honey from a crocus, but I didn't see my robin. I looked into the yellow forsythia bush, but my robin wasn't there. My robin was not sitting high above the branches in the magnolia tree. In the fern garden behind our outdoor table, in the fern garden behind our outdoor table, fuzzy fiddleheads were sprouting in last year's wet brown leaves. But I didn't see my robin there. I saw a tiny toad. He hopped behind a clump of daffodils to hide from me. I looked high into the sky to see if my robin was flying back to me. Drops of rain fell on my face and our neighbor's cat ran home. After the shower, I picked a little bunch of purple violets for my mother. I watched a shiny earthworm wriggle up out of the ground. And then I heard it. I heard that song. Cheer up, cheerily, cheer up, cheerily, cheer up, cheerily. I knew who was singing that song. It was my spring robin. I went on a hunt in my neighborhood looking for my spring robin, and I found some of the things from our book. Let me show you. Here is a crocus, just like in our story, and a forsythia bush, and a magnolia tree, more forsythia bushes, and hiding in the bottom right is the robin. There he is.